Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Ward's adventure in Factorio. This is our Let's Learn series, and let's continue with where we left off. So, I'll show you what I did up here. I mentioned I was going to build the research area, and I've done that up here in this little peninsula here. I make my way through here. So, see, as you can see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we got two belts here. One for the red and, and green, and the other for the blue and purple. As far as how this is all going to work out, I have no clue. But I, I know I have to bring up resources up here, and then I'll have to chop down a bunch of trees. But that's alright. So, what do you need to make the red ones? So let's go run down here. Let's take a look through here. Okay, here we go. So what do I need for red ones? Looks like I need copper plates and iron gears. So which means we need iron plates. Okay. And then green ones will need inserters and belts. I think that's what that... Yeah, inserters and belts. Okay. So we'll probably do this kind of setup up top there too because the circuits we need for these guys gears so we need basically we need you know, iron plates then we need these gears then uh, these things will use those gears so I, I want to actually mass produce these gears on its own belt maybe hmm. Okay, well, we'll finish the sulfur processing, and then we'll, yeah, and then we'll think about what to do with the the research facilities. I'm gonna take all of this ammo here. Grab that. Okay. Now let's take a look here. I think we can take that one out. Let's go check it out. Honestly, I had a problem with that one, but I, I, I don't remember. So let's go run down here and see what we have to do. So I'm going to start timing from now. That gives me a good half hour to work with. So let's see here. We'll find these biters down here and see what to do about them. Oh, there we go, there we go. There's iron here. Okay, so this is a small base. So we'll do the usual setup. And then we'll put 50 in each of these, I guess. And let's actually put in the old bullets. One, two. We can put old bullets here, and then we can put new ones in here. Let's keep moving up. One, two. Let's put some new ones in there. Let's put old ones in this one. Okay, I can pick these up. Now, I might start these out too far because I always seem to build a few... Oh, a few of these before it gets too bad. Um, oh, that's a medium biter. Let's see here. Okay, no, that's okay. And let's put half... That okay. Let's pick up this one and this one. Let's uh, put that in there. Okay, good, good, good. So far, so good. And now let's take that out. Okay. Woo. Okay. 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 So, since that happened, like, ooh, explosives. That's cool. I'll do better. What's this? Solar panels. Okay. I don't know about solar panels. I'd like to use. What's this? Uh, flight robotics 
Power armor, exoskeleton. Huh. But we want batteries because batteries gives us blue science packs. So that's what we'll do. And I'm running back like a chicken. There, just grenade the bastards. Woo! Okay. Okay. And there we go. Another base taken out. Alien artifacts are picked up. Looks like we still got oh, a couple hundred of those to go, so it's good. So let's pick these up. Let's see, are we using up the magazines? Uh, slowly, slowly but surely. Okay, so those guys are taken out. Looks like we have a base right over here. So these large ones are going to be hard to take out, but we'll, uh, we'll figure that out. Ooh, look at that. That's another big one. Hmm. Yeah, otherwise we're all okay. So I'm thinking of expanding out this way just because there's not that many bases out here. This one's a trouble one, and then these most likely would be all trouble too. Looks like there's iron all up in here too, so... And iron down in here, so yeah, so we got iron everywhere. We'll have to figure out how we can extract that. But let's travel this way just to see what these guys are like over. Ooh. Okay. They're swarming there. Okay. So let's plan of attack, eh? Okay? down here maybe okay I, I feel I don't feel safe so I'm gonna put three of these guys one of these is gonna have that and two of these I think is gonna be like this okay and then let's do another set of three one two three and we'll just do the same thing with this so that way we could use up the old ammo, but then also have new ammo. One, two, three. Okay. And what we'll do is then we advance the matrix. <laughs> Let's see what's going to come, and then we'll go from there. Woo! Woo! Ah! Okay. Okay, okay. That's good. That's good. Not too shabby. Now let's place some more here. One, two, three. Oh. oh, that's getting damaged. Okay, so let's repair that one. Okay, let's pick these guys up. And place three more. One. Two, three. Woo. Woo. One, two, three. One, two, three. Wow. Okay, we gotta keep advancing these though. So, one, two, three. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Let me put armor piercing. Okay, good, good, good. And let's place three. Oh, I don't have. Don't I have three more? Where are they? I thought I had them more. Oh, yeah, there they are. One, two, three. Okay. 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 Like this. This one and this one up. Let's put three more out. One, two, three. Okay. 
Okay, and now let's get to some action here. Let's see if they can get all three of these here. Okay, there we go. Exterminated those guys. So that eliminates all the reasons for attacking us. Okay. So hopefully this is using up the ammo. I think it is. When we look at this, this is slowly being chewed up. We did start with 400, or just over 400. And now we got a little bit less than that, so that's good. Okay, let's go map here. Wow, so that pretty much took out the whole... So this whole area down south is now clear. So is there any resources? Oh, it looks like there's a coal deposit in here somewhere. Where? Am I right over it? I think I'm right over it. So let's chop up these trees here to open this up so we can see what we're working with. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, okay, this is actually pretty cool. Okay. Oh, batteries are done. Wow, this research is just going through so quickly, even with just two of those things. So let's do this one, which allows the efficiency modules. And that's even without the research going full bore. Wow. It makes you wonder if you even need more. <laughs> And just kind of chopping a little bit around so that way we can see what we're working with. There we go. Here we go. So we got this area here that we can extract. Uh, how exactly we're going to do that, where we're going to take it, I don't know. Because it would be a lot of belts, but. Yeah, it would be a lot of belts. You'd almost want to make train tracks that use these areas as, as fueling depots. Or maybe even, you know, have different trains. One's like a, a coal train and others like uh, <coughs> um, an iron train. And, you know, so you have different kinds. But let's go and take a look actually up here. Let's go take a look at our, our, our resource operations here. So it still hasn't backed up all the way, which is kind of interesting. Oh, look at that, look at that, look. Looks like it's almost complete. Wow. Look at that. That is insane. So this one's completely used up. So is this one. So then we got 131 there. Eight. So these, this one's almost done. Huh. And how about... I think as far as radar units, we don't need these guys anymore. So since that's still processing, so what we'll be able to do is rip up all this line once that gets used up, which should be pretty, pretty soon. So let's run this way, and I'm just going to check up up here as well. So I want to see, ooh, look at that. That's all full. <laughs> Solid full, that uh, way down there. Let's run up here. It's a good sign that this is full too. That means it's not operating in full capacity. If that makes sense. It's amazing that this is just a constant, constant usage. That's something I didn't realize in this game. 
Okay, so these have lots of ammo on it. So this one's done. So we can pick this up. We can probably even do this. And then we can just put a belt in there. And then now that's all together. It's the same for here. I figured this would happen. But that's a good challenge because, yeah, because this is just awesome. There you go. Okay. So these are still operating. This still has lots of. Re oh, this one's almost done. Yeah, these still have lots of resources, so we can take this one. We'll leave that like that. And this one's done now, so we'll leave that like that for that side. Okay, and then up here, what do we have? But we still got lots of resources up here. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm just checking to see if any of these... Okay, so no, these are all still fully operational. Okay, so there's no wall around this stuff here. And there's copper, and there's coal here too, so we'll have to tap into that, into that maybe. Okay, that's pretty neat, that's pretty neat. So it looks like we've been doing really well run back and then we can continue with our research project if we have enough time yeah well we have about 15 minutes left so we're about halfway through this episode man it goes by fast in 30 minutes even with a little bit of off-camera work too you know like I haven't been doing much just enough to to kind of move things along a little bit wow okay crazy so I want to redo everything basically down here. And I guess what's tough for me is, let's pick this one up. We don't need that. Yeah, what makes it tough is where do I relocate everything, you know? Like we have all these here. We have this boiler assembly here. One, two, three, four, five. And so I want to move all this stuff. You know, I don't want to do this kind of for format here anymore. Looks like we have green. Oh, look, look at these. The packs are building up. That's interesting. Okay. Do we need to make any of those assembly machines? We need to make some of these. So let's put some iron to this one. Okay, we got lots of wood. Where do we want to, want to put the wood? Because because we're running out of room here. Hmm. So that or make a bigger box. So make like a steel chest. That, and then we can replace the wood box with these boxes and then now we can put more wood in here bang 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 one two three okay looks like we're doing good for that stuff need more circuits okay put those back there okay So how do we make blue science packs? Let's go E. Blue science packs need smart inserters, steel plates, advanced circuitry, and batteries. So we need plastics. Plastic bars. Might have to... I wonder if there's a plastics research or if I've already got that. Well, we're, we're researching that now. Oh yeah, there's the plastics. So that's necessary for the next step. Hmm. Well, since we got this f fluid here, I was thinking of doing the fluid stuff up in here around this stone. So maybe what we can do is we can 
maybe actually let's put what I want to do is harvest this stone here so that what that means then is just like this and then we put it into a box and then move it by hand or do we deal with the stone a different way because we have our little assembly system down here right coming from all the existing stone and I did have oh yeah I do have the stone thing right here we can always put more stone in here so let's upgrade this chest okay so now let's wait more room for stone and I think research is done so let's research something that's easy electronics 2, explosives lasers I'm tempted at doing this one, laser technology. Just because we have it doesn't mean we'll build it. This is better energy distribution. Let's do the automated trail, uh, rail transportation so that way we have the train stops and then we'll get the rail signals. Ah, there's so much to research. Okay, so let's do that. So let's let's have that stuff mine out that stone. Yeah, I don't think I'll get that research stuff done today <laughs> like I wanted to. So let's just take care of this. So we'll we'll do a small thing like that. And I need inserters. So let's grab a stack of them. I think I have them going into a box right here. Okay. And now we can do this, I think. And then we want a steel chest. Okay, which goes there. And then now we just need power. So let's connect her up. Uh, closest place with power would be the, actually this way. There, there, there there perfect now this will have power and stone should be going into here perfect and we'll chew this stuff up 10,000 and 5,000 hmm. you know what that's not gonna work that's not gonna work maybe we'll just bring it down and tie it in tie it into this whole thing here so we'll bring it down uh, we're going to have to bring it on this. Wow, this just sucks. I want to tear all this, all of this out. Hmm. How do we have so ammo? Two, three, four. Let's do it anyways. So we got lots of ammo. We got lots of grenades. Let's kind of grab some more grenades just in case here. 100. I think I'll just grab a couple hundred here. And I'll put these there. Okay. Okay. Steel chest in here, right? Yeah, okay. So basically, I just need to rip everything out. Even this stone assembly, probably. Because we have all the stone here, potentially. Yeah, we got a lot of thousands of stone there. We'll never run out of it. Hmm. Same with this stuff. The coal. Maybe we'll bring the coal and the stone up. See here what happens if I bring it up. It's going to hit into this, so I'll have to curve it. 
So maybe what we'll do is we'll build some derricks. Maybe we can kind of start the fluid. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six containers of that, and then one, two, three. Okay, three of those of the of the derricks. And then let's grab some more pipes here. Okay, let's build some more underground pipe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and then I want to start extracting the stuff. So, I've never used oil. So we're gonna see how this works. Okay, so there's a little entry point. So I can put that one there. Oh yeah, we're waiting for more to be made. It just take a long time to make. Okay, and then I think this one we can put like that. Because what's gonna happen is we're gonna do like this, like this, and then one more. Hmm. Hopefully, I can bring the pipes underneath somehow. Let's see here. Uh, okay. So, this one furnace is in the way. <laughs> well, we might have to move all of this anyways. I just don't know where. This is all kind of operating right now because we're using up that stuff. So maybe we'll bring... Let's see here. It's going to kind of lay out an idea here. Maybe we'll bring this stuff up this way. And then this stuff. Maybe we can go underneath. Maybe somehow it'll, it'll deviate this way. And then we'll go underneath. Yeah, okay. So we need to take this out and this out. Even these ones here. Okay, and so let's put in this stuff. Okay, across the other side of the derrick. And we'll bring it up somehow like this. And then what's going to happen is they're both going to smelt. And then they're going to go on two belts, two output belts. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, no, I'm just thinking out loud here, just trying to play stuff and trying to see what's going on. But I think that's it for this episode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to mess around with the oil rigs here, and I'm going to try and see what I can do about moving some of this stuff, the production, to up here, into this area here. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to manually move this stuff. I think. So we'll put this box here, and then we'll put a smart or an inserter there. And we'll just fill this up so this can get used up. And then we'll just move it by hand until it's gone. So we'll keep this kind of self-contained in itself. And yeah, well, and I think that's about it. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Thank you. Bye-bye.